Well, it is time to get those phones out and open up your camera because we have a QR code coming your way. Today in Design Time with Tri-City Furniture, you can scan the code right on your screen as you watch to get linked directly to more information about today's topic. So get that camera pointed at the screen and get ready. Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for design time, and you're in for a real treat. We are talking with Kathy Kilborn at Tri-City Furniture in Auburn, and look at these comfortable recliners. Oh, my goodness. These are so comfortable. It's great when you're tired. Yes. Or great just for general. <laughs> so tell us about the fit. Why do some fit and then others do not? Well, they're different sizes, and they work differently. So it is very important that you always find the size according to your height okay. and the body. We have some people have shorter legs, some have longer. So it is really important that a chair will fit you. Okay, so is there a common size that fits most people? Yeah, a lot of chairs are built for men, and so they're oh. larger. But the common things between chairs is how they open and how they work. And so they're a balanced system. And I'm going to open mine. Yours okay. is power, but a lot of people have your chair. You open it with a handle. The balance system is where I push it back. And my body weight mm. is going to hold it in place. Now, if I don't put enough body weight back, then it's going to sit up on me. Oh. Okay, because it is a balanced system. Okay. So it's really important that the size of the chair is according to your body because if we bought a really large chair and we're short, we're going to have a hard time holding that chair yeah. back. And that's one of the benefits of power because power will open and close, but keep it in that position until you push that button. So, Kathy, what's the most common issue with fitting a chair? Well, common is getting the back support correct, getting the head support, okay. and then making sure that our legs are supported correctly. So, shorter legs in smaller chairs are pretty common and easy for us to fit people too. But if you have really long legs, and I see some people come in, man, their waist is way up high. They're just legs, you know. Those are gonna be the hardest people to fit a recliner because what's gonna happen is their legs are gonna get way out oh. in front. And because this is a balanced system, it's gonna close the chair down. There's too much weight on the front. And this is a safety factor. If a child would come up to my chair and lean on it, it will close itself down. Mm. And so it allows for no extra pressure on that mechanism and it won't break it. And so that is really a key feature. But if I have really long legs, it's not going to work so good. So if you have long legs, you might want to consider a chair with an ottoman. And they have pushback chairs with ottomans. So there are some good variables, but really tall can be just as much of a problem as finding a smaller scale chair for a really short person. And so, Kathy, not all recliners work the same like you're talking about the power. No, of the... so we have the handle. The handle. Okay. Probably the ones I tell people to be cautious of about are the ones that have a release and I have just a couple of them but they release in the and the foot pops up oh but to close it you have to push down sure. there's no handle to retract it so we find that it gets to be difficult for people to close those down and if your legs aren't strong it's really hard to close it so I always caution people but you really have the release the handle and the power. Those are your choices today in reclining. So do only taller people fit in recliners? Taller people, are they? Well, again, yeah. larger chairs are going to fit taller people easier because okay. of the height of the back. Okay. Probably the biggest problem is, is that, oh, that looks so big. Okay. I don't want that big chair. Well, that's going to be a chair that fits the tall person. It's mm. like, well, I don't want to buy a size 13 shoe, even right. though my foot is 13. I'd like to fit an eight. 
it isn't going to work. So we want to make sure that their legs are supported correctly and it works well for them. You need to buy a chair that fits you. So some are, they look a little smaller scaled. If you're tall, yes. then you're going to need a bigger chair if you really want it to fit. So just stop on in and try a few out and see which one works best Absolutely. For you. It's yeah. very important. And when you sit in the right size, mm -hmm. you actually know the right one. Yeah. I've put you in the mid size because the right of one. your height. Me, yes. And when you sat in it, you knew that it just felt really good. I'm in a smaller because I'm five foot two okay. and I keep my feet on the floor I have great back support and this is not pushing my head forward if I want to relax I yeah. can but pushing my head forward is really hard on my neck mm, my so body is fitting just in. have to find the right size and this one is the right size for me so this is perfect <laughs> Well, thank you, Kathy. Thank you for inviting us in your home today. Your thank beautiful you. home, I call this your home furniture store. It's beautiful. There's so much to see here. It's like a... We have lots of chairs in stock, yeah. and, and they can be taken home okay. if we have the right combination. So really is important yeah. to consider finding the right chair okay. and then making sure that it gives you the support that you want for a really long time. We love that. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And thank you for watching this edition of Design Time. I'm just going to relax. Ah.